This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, the first day of November. I'm Michael Graff. We just wrapped up the third warmest October on record here in the Valley. 26 consecutive days during the month saw a high temperature of 90 degrees or above. That was an all-time October record. And it was very dry as well, just two-tenths of an inch of rain officially. So what about November? What do we have to look forward to in the upcoming month? Well, we're starting out with cooler temperatures. As we look outside this morning, we see a few clouds out there as well. Here in the mid-morning hour, around 10.30 a.m. or so, temperature at Sky Harbor, 73 degrees. Dew point at 39, relative humidity 29%. The winds are calm and the barometer is steady. Temperatures across south-central Arizona and around the metro area right now, mainly in the 70s. Some clouds across the state right now in association with a couple of weather systems moving past to our north. Watch warning map, though, is very quiet across the country. No organized areas of severe weather to talk about either. So let's delve into our weather in more detail as we take a look at the models. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time today. Big ridge of high pressure in the east. That was the ridge that was over us for the last several weeks. It's now well off to our east. And look, a trough here in the west. That's a different look for us. And so that means cooler temperatures today. The sky will be mostly sunny, just a few high clouds around here. And temperatures much cooler. will be mainly in the low to mid 80s today. The normal high in the valley, 82. I think we'll top out at about 85 this afternoon. Tonight, cooler temperatures with some drier air. So most of us will be in the 60s. Could even see some upper 50s in spots. Tomorrow, mostly sunny in the morning, becoming partly cloudy by the afternoon as low pressure starts to cut off from the main flow here over the southwest. Could even see an isolated shower or thunderstorm in eastern Arizona tomorrow. On Thursday, that cutoff low continues to spin across southwest Arizona or northwest Mexico, and that will help to import some moisture into the state. A few showers and thunderstorms possible. We'll even call for a slight chance of showers here in the valley, about a 10% chance Thursday afternoon. High temperatures... In the upper 70s to low 80s, normal high for tomorrow, 82 again, and I think we'll be right about there. Then on Friday, Thursday night and Friday, we have our best chances for precipitation. I think Thursday night is really the, the big window of opportunity for us, a 20% chance of precipitation Thursday night and Friday, and temperatures, again, in the low to middle 80s as that cutoff low finally starts to lift off to the north. Some model disagreement starts to come into play by this weekend, especially late weekend. Saturday looks like a mostly sunny day, a few clouds, but overall not bad, and temperatures mainly in the middle 80s. On Sunday, the European really starts to build a high pressure into the area. The GFS keeps us with some troughing. For now, we'll say mostly sunny and high temps, mid 80s. Same for Monday, middle 80s. As we go out toward a week from today, I'm going to show you the European for the mid-range part of the forecast here because it seems to be the more consistent and better performing model at this point. Strong high pressure starting to build back in the area, the old 585 ridge. So temperatures would be well above normal for election day. European printing out a high of 89 next Tuesday. And if that verifies, we'd be just two degrees shy of the record high for the date, certainly well above normal. The normal high on November 8th is 79. This is Wednesday, the 9th of November. And again, high pressure over the area. We have a low cutting off over South Texas or Northeast Mexico. And then the end of the forecast period, this is Thursday, November the 10th. We would be dry in this scenario. A little wave would be approaching us from the west, but... Otherwise, temperatures would still be mainly in the middle to upper 80s, so above normal, although not quite at record high territory. If we take a look at the GFS at the same time, Thursday, the 10th of November, a much more substantial low sits off the Baja, and this would bring in some moisture perhaps into the area at or beyond the end of the forecast period, and a very significant low featured over the southeast U.S., and that would certainly bring some rain, much needed rain to those areas. But I just don't know how realistic this scenario is. And that's why we're going with the European uh, for the mid-range part of the forecast. All right. The total amount of precipitation that we'll see over the next 10 days around here, not that impressive. Again, the GFS continuing to back off of its rainfall prediction for us. A few hundredths of an inch of rain, maybe a tenth of an inch. You know how it goes. 
The European is very similar in how much rain it produces here in the valley. The distribution's a little bit different elsewhere, but the idea is a few hundredths, maybe a tenth of an inch someplace. So at least there's model agreement there. Temperatures through the period will pull these off the European Ensemble. 79 sounds pretty good for tomorrow. And even 80 on Thursday looks about right. And maybe some small rain chances late week, but then temperatures going up by next week. And again, they could even be warmer than this Monday and Tuesday, that's for sure. And a general dry forecast beyond Friday. And that's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video by tomorrow morning. Thanks so much for watching and have a great Tuesday.